all right so what is up everybody um ads play 101 here uh just here talking to you guys about a situation i wish i was talking to you guys under better pretenses but um unfortunately you know got uh, a little situation on my hands that um you know since late last year it just seems like this domino effect where it seems like no matter what good happens in my life some bullshit is just right around the corner to come you know what i'm saying take it away and cause a bunch of havoc and a bunch of bs and a bunch of nonsense and this is unfortunately no different of a situation that one i have no control over two didn't know what was going on and three it's like can i catch a fucking break you know what i mean like what else is gonna like i don't even want to know what that what else is gonna happen it's just like just like one thing I, like nothing wrong was happening and all of a sudden boom like this this situation so unfortunately like you know i can't go into too much detail one because you know it's a private matter uh um that one you know can affect you know certain things but it, it still needs to be talked about and i can talk about it as much as possible uh two i've seen people you know what i'm saying talk about certain things in detail and they end up getting you know putting themselves in a worse position than they should have due to the people maybe trolling or people might you know make the situation worse from what you have like you know people on the internet think that they helping or just you know basically being dicks to a, a situation that doesn't call for it or you know what i mean just like little nonsense like that so i'm just like in a, in a position right now where i'm just like you know unfortunately i don't have like a bunch of fancy edits only thing i can give you guys is information and that's basically all, all, all the only way i've been making videos anyway right so it shouldn't be too out of too out of my element but so um about three years ago um i had borrowed some money from a money lender you know and at this time i had a an account with a certain bank i'm not going to say what bank it was but i had an account with a certain bank and um you know when i went to go get the loan i was using that bank account you know so just for the sake of the video, like what I'm gonna call it is just uh, um, bank account one. I'm gonna just call it bank account one for the sake of the video. Cause like I said, I can't get too deep into detail about it. We're just gonna call it bank account one. So when I went to get the, got the loan, um, like the loan was just for like a measly hundred dollars. It was just little, like a little something extra, you know, just to help out here and there um, from the lender. And uh, I was using bank account one when I signed up for it. Now, what happened was when I was with bank account one, some nonsense happened where some money was being taken out of my account where, you know, when I didn't have any awareness that this was happening or why it was happening when I did find out and the bank account, the, the bank didn't let me know and they didn't do anything you know what i'm saying to prevent it from happening so basically what happened was i ended up having to withdraw all my money out of that account and i went to a new bank um you know mind you the information for that bank account was still attached to that contract that i had the money lent to me from so they now mind you this happened like three years ago so when i took the money out of my account i said you know what you know they still got that i'm gonna just mail it to them because mind you the place is like all the way across town and me i don't have a vehicle so it's not like i could just get up and just drive over there you know what i mean when i want to you know i ended up getting the address from the place on uh you know off the internet and i ended up mailing a money order to them you know for the amount that i had owed i think it was like 120 at the time or whatever the case was but um but yeah uh i ended up you know mailing the feedback to them and you know i didn't hear anything back from them. they had my number you know 
I, I didn't receive any phone calls from him or anything like that. And, you know, at the time, I, was, I, I, I like I don't really borrow money like that. So I don't understand the procedure or anything like that. I didn't hear anything from him. So at the time, I thought, OK, everything was fine. Everything was good. It's paid off. You know, I'm done. You know, so. Um, so, yeah, so fast forward to today. I ended up receiving a phone call from a legal party. I'm going to just say legal party that is telling me that the place that I borrowed the money from is trying to sue me for the amount that I borrowed from them. But because of the, all the years, the interest rates that have incurred over the years, it's like way more than what I thought. But, you know, and I actually checked the company. It's a legit company that, you know, like a legit legal party. This isn't some scammer trying to, you know what I'm saying, get one over on me. Because I've actually had that happen before and they, they ain't getting nothing from me. But this is like a real situation. Um, but yeah, I ended up, uh, you know, getting a phone call from them. I ended up missing it. I've checked my voicemail. I called them right back and they told me that, you know, this company, that this lending company was actually um, getting contacted them to provide legal documents to basically try to sue me for the amount that I that I owed them. I was like, wait, hold on. Like I mailed my payment to these guys like over three years ago. It actually, it was a couple months after. Uh, I wasn't even a couple months. It was, say it was about like a month, month and a half after I had borrow the money from them and basically from their end you know since they never received the money they're looking at it as you know because they were trying to pull the money from an account that i was no longer with because mind you i had a situation with bank one um you know that uh now i don't know if there's an actual bank called bank one or anything like that i was just saying you know since like that that's what i'm going to call the bank for for the sake of the video without giving out any details or anything like that but um but with you know saying like bank account one uh you know got a, a an alert but yeah bank account one i ended up uh you know leaving that bank this was during the time that loan was still active you know what i mean that loan was still active and i had to pay them back so it was some some BS going on with the bank. Money was being taken out of my account that I wasn't aware of. Found out about it. They didn't do anything. So I ended up withdrawing all my money and I went to a new bank. So instead of me, you know, and again, since the place was all the way across town, it wasn't like I could just get up and just go because I had no vehicle. So I ended up having to, you know, I mailed it to them in the form of a money order. And I have no real way to, ch you know, to trace a money order or anything like that because it's not attached to any account. But, you know, it was paid. I didn't hear from them, so I figured everything was cool. Fast forward to now, I thought that, you know, everything was fine. Get a call from a legal party telling me that they're getting ready to sue me for the amount that I owe them, plus the interest, which is, you know, making it even more. But, you know, I mailed it to them, and it was explaining, like, okay, well, I, I didn't know that all this was going on because I thought that they got their money. I thought everything was good. The guy I was on the phone with, he basically explained to me that, you know, well, you know, they never received it. And because of all the interest rates, they're looking at it as, you know, you gave them false bank information to get a loan from them. You know what I mean? Basically doing like some illegal activity. And that wasn't the case at all. So I ended up giving the guy, you know, my information and things like that. He's supposed to be emailing me some documents for me to sign, uh, to e-sign, um, you know, as well as a, a a legal document, you know, saying that this wasn't like a scam or anything like that. Basically, like legal, basically a bunch of legal stuff. I'm going to just say it like that. Uh, it's just like a couple e sign documents. But the problem is, like, this put me in a situation where I'm like, okay, I was just, I'm literally at a point where I was just now getting back on my feet. Like, after this week, if this situation wouldn't have happened, I would have been back in full swing, you know, being able to buy games and, you know, take care of other little things I had to take care of. You know, like, like I was going to be back in the clear. You know what I mean? But because of this, it's just like another fucking situation. You know what I mean? Like, you guys know, late, year, late last year, I lost my damn job. 
because somebody stole my bank card information, caused my card to get blocked. I couldn't use Uber to get to work because I was working in another town at a warehouse. Ended up getting fired because this was like me calling out for like the first time in like within like my first 30 days so they not, they weren't playing they very strict on attendance especially during that you know first 30 days of you being there ended up losing my job out there making real good money but i haven't been able to get back out there even though they say they were willing to hire me i haven't been able to put myself in a position to get back out there so unfortunately i, I haven't been able to get that job back again at least right now um ended up getting a job closer to me um and even though I'm not making as much as I'm making, I was making there, the job is closer and I don't have to pay money for like any type of, uh, any type of, um, you know, driving, you know, gas and like fees from like Uber or Lyft or whatever. Like I don't have to pay any type of, uh, commute fees or anything like that. Like my job is literally within walking distance. So, um, you know, but the thing is like this happened out of nowhere you know what I mean? And I already have other things already piled up that I was going to take care of to get myself back into, like, the clear. That's why I said after this week, everything was going to be good after this week. And I'm just, like, can I please just get, like, whatever dark cloud that is over me, just please let this shit just go the fuck away. Because I'm just like, dude, it's, it's literally, like, one after a fucking another. And I, I don't, you know what I mean? Like, I don't. Like, I don't do nothing to nobody. Like, I like I don't have any criminal record. Like, I don't, like, you know, like, I'm clean. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't drink. I don't smoke. You know what I mean? And you, you, you start going over. And when, when shit like this keeps happening to you, you really start going over in your head why this shit keeps happening to you. Because you look back on your life, you're like, well, no, maybe I fucked somebody over. Maybe I broke somebody's heart. You know what I'm saying? Like, maybe I, you know did some shit that I shouldn't have did. Like, but when you really thinking about it, you're like, you know what I mean? Nothing comes up because you really haven't done anything to the point where you're actually trying to convince yourself maybe you did do something to make just a, you know, to justify all this negative shit that keeps happening to you. It's like, you can't figure, like, you, there's nothing there. So you just stuck with no answers as to why this shit keeps happening. So you just sitting there stuck just like, you know, maybe you're just a, I don't know, like, maybe negativity just finds you for some fucking reason, and I'm just like, man, this can't, you know, it's not as bad as it seems, but it's still a fucked up situation that can land me somewhere I don't want to be, so I'm coming to you guys, you see right here, I have the legal relief fund with the money that I'm making from my job, plus me raising uh, $160, um, I can still get back on my feet and get back in a, in a positive space and take care of this little bullshit right here. You know what I mean? It's just that I'm only, I'm really asking for you guys' help. Like anybody who sees this, if you know somebody who donates, if you know somebody that wants to help, if you know somebody that gives a fuck, like, dude, I don't, I already don't like asking for, you, you guys know, anytime I ever did like a, Somebody just walking in. Anytime I ever did like a um like a GoFundMe or any type of crowdfunding thing, you know, it don't really last because I don't really like um you know what I'm saying, asking for things like that. It's just it's out of my comfort. But right now it's like it needs to be done. You know what I mean? And I just really really need the the help so if anybody you know wants to help out if you know somebody that wants to help out you know right here is the paypal link um you know please come through help uh that's all that's all i can really say is help uh just do like like for real like Like, just, you know what I mean? Like, like I don't even have the words. You know what I mean? Because I'm scared to find out what else might happen. You know what I mean? It's just one thing after another, man. And just please, you know, 